the, the media uh, systems in, in Europe, uh, continuities and discontinuities, is uh, one of the uh, products, I would say, of our project, Humorplat. And this book is, um, I would say, is a collaborative uh, outcome uh, of the first uh, package of our uh, project, which is the historical, if I can put it, uh, dimension of the evolution of the media in, in, in Europe. In effect, the, bo the book is about it. It discusses the uh, developments uh, of the uh, media in the European Union countries in the last 30 years. Uh, and we see what has changed, what is the same. I'll give you some clues, for example. We have seen that everywhere. For example, the press is declined. Our radio still remains a small but stable medium. TV still is, uh, uh, you know, uh, rings the, is the king, if I can put it this way, of the media. In Europe, regardless of the, uh, the, the, the rapid development of the internet and the social uh, media and platforms uh, in, in, uh, in our region. On the other hand, uh, since uh, 2015, we have seen that the, uh, there is a, a hard decline of the thematic channels and the entry of the uh, platforms. And it's not a coincidence that since then we see the uh, development of streaming TV in uh, most of the European countries. So, uh, we also see that kind of uh, uh, developments uh, also are in, in our media systems, uh, like uh, that uh, we need to protect and to preserve our public service broadcasters and our newspaper citizens because we think that newspapers and the public service broadcastings are part of our uh, uh, culture in in Europe, of our European societies. So this is one of our uh, recommendations so far in our book, as well as that the media systems in, in Europe is not any longer so isolated as it used to be in the past. They come closer, they come similar, and this is because of the developments in technology, in the legislation, and of course the globalization processes.